Hey guys, and welcome back to today's NBA video play of the day. If you're looking to get more of this pick video content, be sure to click that subscribe button and also check out our MLB video play of the day as well. Also, if you want more pick content, you can head on over to our main website, stumpthespread.com, which I'll throw a link to down in the video description. Over at stumpthespread.com, you can access our daily free play as well as all of our top confidence premium bets across the NBA playoffs as well as the NHL playoffs and the MLB regular season during this time of year. So heading into today's video, we're going to be talking about a matchup between the Toronto Raptors and the Milwaukee Bucks in what has been a very intriguing series thus far between the three and six seed over in the Eastern Conference. The Toronto Raptors looked lost in their uh, game one defeat there against Milwaukee, putting up just 83 points. But the Raptors were able to bounce back in game two, getting past the Bucks by a final of 106 to 100. Toronto was one of the hotter teams in the East going down the stretch run of the regular season. But that type of play hasn't exactly come in the same fashion thus far in the postseason for the Raptors. Toronto has been a bit, or they have a bit more postseason experience than the Bucks, given they've been a uh, consistent team in the playoffs in recent years in terms of making it into the field. Um, and, you know, Toronto with guys like DeRozan and Lowry, you'd think that that experience would really pay off well here against a team that doesn't necessarily have the same type of postseason experience, but uh, wasn't so much the case in game one. We saw a little bit better performances out of DeRozan and Lowry in game two. Um, the top two guards for Toronto, uh, you know, they haven't always been extremely impressive in the postseason, uh, usually not shooting quite as well, especially in terms of their offensive efficiency. Uh, DeRozan and Lowry were much better in Game 2 as they combined to score 55 points on 50% shooting. And even with having such a great performance, Toronto still was, um, you know, they weren't able to separate extensively, and it was a fairly competitive game. So even with their top two guys having one of their better performances, uh, you know, Toronto still wasn't able to get the cover and also um, was even at a threat to potentially lose that game if, uh, they weren't able to close that one out. But if Toronto can continue to get this type of production out of their top guys, they'll have a good shot at winning this series. But getting that type of production out of DeRozan and Lowry, especially in the postseason, hasn't always nece uh, necessarily come easy. So uh, this is not going to be just a walkthrough by any means for Toronto going against the sixth seed here. And it's going to be a tough battle for them. And they've already surrendered home court over to the uh, lower seeded team with that home one defeat so uh, Toronto's gonna have to at least pick up one game in Milwaukee all right so now we have the home team here the Milwaukee Bucks and they surged through the second half of the regular season as well and they got off to a much slower start this season and this young group has a lot of intriguing players to build around in the coming years Milwaukee is at their best when leveraging their length and athleticism on the defensive side of the ball and down low in the paint on the offensive end. Sometimes this group gets in trouble when they fall in love with the three-point shot, but that really hasn't been an issue so far in this series. Milwaukee got some big numbers out of the star Giannis Antetokounmpo in Game 2 as the versatile forward. Scored 24 points while grabbing uh, 15 rebounds and dishing out 7 assists. If Antetokounmpo can continue to show a bit more efficiency, um, then he showed in game two on the offensive end that will only serve to help the Bucks. Uh, Anton Tacumbo missed a lot of shots, but um, you know at least Milwaukee was able to get to that hundred point mark, and they were at least a threat to potentially win that game, which was impressive considering how uh, solidly DeRozan and Lowry were playing in that uh, particular matchup. Milwaukee has a great home court advantage, and it'll be interesting to see how the Bucks respond to playing in front of their excited home crowd. Toronto has had a tough time dealing with the Bucks thus far. And this has the makings to be an extended first round series as a result. We do like Milwaukee to continue to be a thorn in the side of the Raptors as they go on to cover this spread at home. And that's going to be our NBA video play of the day, guys. And again, if you want more of this pick video content, be sure to click that subscribe button. Check out our MLB video play of the day. And also check out our main website, stumpthespread.com, which I'll throw a link to down in the video description. Over there you can access our daily free play as well as all of our top confidence premium bets across all major American sports. So thanks for stopping on in for today's action and we hope to see you in the future. Bye.